This is a really spooky place, Toast. I don't know if we should keep on going in here. I think it's got something to do with the video we're recording. Wait, what's that? We're, we're releasing more Toast plushies at Christmas? They're long overdue? People want them? Why? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to a review, or I guess a trailer reaction? A game that up until I think yesterday, I had no idea existed, or maybe it was like a couple of days ago. Either way, it was it was not long ago. Now I had the uh, the privilege to talk to I think the lead developer on this project, um, and before we before we get into any of it, any of it at all, uh, let's watch this trailer. I don't really haven't watched it because I I want to experience it first time with you guys. So let's go. Oh. There's an axe. Oh god! Oh, it's cool. Oh, what was that? He just wanted a hug. He's like, hello. Oh, he did the hug again. Oh, there you go. That, that's very inspired. <laughs> that shot. Oh my god, that, that light is giving off a lot of light. Ooh. It's eating a dude. Was that a flare? I think it, it might have been a flare. Sound like it made noise though. Oh, this is awesome. Oh no! Did he make it? I don't think he did. Oh, he's got the flare. You should never have a flare. I thought so. <laughs> I was like, wait, what happens with flares? <laughs> That's right. It should be made canon now that the flares attract T-Rexes. <laughs> because Jurassic Park. Oh, there it is. Death Ground. Support us on Kickstarter. Jaw was it Jaw Drop Productions, was it? So what's this? A new dinosaur game that's first person that has you like shoot at dinosaurs and is <gasps> it's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> so I I had the uh, the privilege to talk to the lead developer about this game. Um, I think yesterday I think it was it was very quick. Yeah, it was yesterday because I remember him saying today would be the day the trailer would come out. So it is on Kickstarter now. Right away. I know, I know. Be Beavers, we had Mesozoic, uh, the other one, the the, the Stomping Lands, that's the one. And uh, what's it called? Uh, Dave Dragons. For a start, this isn't anything like it. What what appears to be the case is that all these dinosaur games recently, The Isle, Path of Titans, uh, Primal Carnage, I don't know, anything like that. There, there seems to be like a small pool of developers, Mesozoica being one of them as well, um, small pool of developers, and they've all like, they've all got like, they've worked on this thing, they don't like this guy, and all this jazz. It's, 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 I don't know, it just seems to be this, um, I don't, everyone knows each other and nobody likes each other and they're always like bad mouthing each other's games and oh this is all this drama uh but this this game right here um doesn't have any connections to anything like that this is a completely separate indie project the only thing that definitely strikes me as alien isolation from this trailer was when he looks down and it has that um I don't know the, the like the tracker, so I had a, I had a talk with them uh, about what this game's going to be like, what to expect from it. Uh, so imagine, I guess, like Left 4 Dead, except with dinosaurs. I would assume it's something like that. At the moment, it's three people versus uh, AI dinosaurs. If people are playing as dinosaurs, then 
you know, there's no point hiding in lockers like you see in the trailer because the dinosaur's going to know the lo like there's probably people in the locker because it's controlled by a person. Uh, so that would probably lose a little bit of it. So it's going to be co-op. There's going to be, I think the three classes, if I remember correctly, is uh, the hunter, which is the only one that I think has a gun. There is the tracker or scout, which has the, obviously, the uh, the tracker and the, the sonar radar thing. Um, and I cannot remember off the top of my head, but there is a third one because it is like three it's like a three player co-op kind of game uh you probably could play it just single player i don't know exactly i probably should have uh checked that up but um so you i mean you can wait for this to come out but it is going to go to kickstarter and let's have a look at that kickstarter uh campaign shall we so onto the Kickstarter. So what do you get? So Death Ground, a dinosaur survival horror game, a first person co-op survival horror game that throws players into a desperate battle for survival against deadly AI dinosaurs. As huge dinosaur fanatics and experienced game developers, we're building a game that we're extremely passionate about and believe this is the game people would love to play. For years, we've spotted all types of requests and comments across the internet for this type of game. We've heard your calls and this is the answer. After doing some research and development, we've come to some conclusions presented throughout this page that we think will make for a compelling game that's expandable and serves a multitude of player types. We already have a super fun internal demo that demonstrates the key gameplay pillars listed below. We're a collective of experienced game development pro uh, yeah, professionals and specialists in Unreal Engine. Beyond this, we have some key members from the Alien I Isolation team lined up to consult on the project who can help Help us shape the gameplay experience. So we feel we're in a great position to develop a game like this. So we've got horror, teamwork, emergence, ooh, reasons to play. So it seems, yeah, it's like a squad based. Ooh, look at this, we've got all this other stuff. Of course, depending on what type of class you are, it's your job to alert um, players where uh, dinosaurs are and to find them that way um, and you've got to go around a bit, a bit I guess a bit like a leopard where you have to do different things so whether it's like you can see here hacking collecting different uh, objectives so it's hacking a certain thing or whatever also a bit like left for dead there seems to be like an AI director unpredictable AI dinosaurs dynamic and reactive dinosaurs that hunt you down influence decision making and drive a tailored experience so each time it'll be a different kind of thing. Uh, it might be a different objective. And of course there will be different uh, AI loadouts. So you're not gonna see, oh, the same sort of dinosaurs over and over. What's interesting is where this is, because in this uh, image here, you've got like a town and it looks like a kind of a, like a regular town. <laughs> you've got regular buildings. You've got even, it's like construction or something because you've got lavatories there or whatever you call them. I don't know what you would call them. Toilets, those things. Special character classes. Oh, here we go. A character class system with special traits, skills, and tools. Um, so you've got the scientist, the hunter, and the scout, maybe? Oh, not I don't think it's called a scientist. I can't remember what it's called. Truly terrifying and diverse environments experience pure fear and an anxious atmosphere that put the player's survival instincts to the test. We'll, har we'll harness the power of Unreal Engine 4 to create realistic and diverse environments. I think it was Project Crinosaur where uh, the, just the graphics in that game look so good. Like, so good. I love the graphics in that game. Um, I mean, the gameplay is very basic because um, I think it is just one guy working on it. Uh, but th this team would be so cool uh, like to, to work on you know, to have a, like just a, a first person game, because we've had uh, Silent Park. Uh, that was amazing. I love playing that. And that was like sort of horror themed. Um, and we had, uh, it, it reminds me of uh, Oakwood. And that was a terror, like it was not a good game. Come on, let's be fair. <laughs> It was just like some guy or, or a few people took assets and made this, you know, campaign of, uh, you know, so it was like just a bit one under Jurassic Park, but a horror thing like Outlast but with dinosaurs, but it wasn't very good. <laughs> um, it was all right. It was passable, but it, it was, I'm never going to go back to it ever. Random spawn and extraction points and dynam dynamic objectives creates unique and intense gameplay sequences with each playthrough. So, you'll, you know, it might be day, it might be night. Um, there'll be different dinosaurs. There'll be different random spawn locations and extraction points. So, 
unlike Left 4 Dead, it's not the same thing over and over again. So you, you go to this place and you know that, oh, well, I've got to wait here and this is where a horde's going to strike. Oh, we're going to get a tank here or something like that. So it lends itself. I know I'm really looking forward to it. I'm hoping to see good things. So now let's talk about the pledges. What can you do apart from, you know, waiting for it to be released? Uh, so at the moment it has a, uh, wow, it's already got $12. This just went live this second. <laughs> um, so its goal is 80000 um, and of course, all or nothing. So this project will not be funded if it doesn't reach all of its goal. So hopefully it does. Um, it's, it's always nice to see, um, you know, a dinosaur game that uh, is something that we've wanted, like the first person horror survival. It might not appeal to everybody. Maybe people wanted like something a bit like Turok. At the same time, you can get that. I think if you probably play it single play with AI, uh, you know, filling in the positions of people. But the fact that you can do it, oh, it's going up already. Oh, <laughs> so the fact that it's a multiplayer is something that if it was just single player, I think people would be complaining about. It. Like, well, when's it going to be multiplayer? Um, and 80,000 to get this, like, I mean, they've got a tech demo. They've got loads of assets. And I've got to give them kudos. That T-Rex roll wasn't like, you know, the Jurassic Park T-Rex roll, which is always good. Nice to see something different. I did did ask why there was no feather dinosaurs um and i think the basic argument i don't think he really answered it um is just that i don't know i think i think this is the problem i guess with a lot of the mainstream is that feather dinosaurs aren't scary and we still yet to see a, a, you know some form of media uh you know apart from art uh film or game uh, that makes feather dinosaurs scary. This this could have been a great opportunity to have done so, but I do understand that in you know that they're, they're trying to branch out to as you know they're trying to get the biggest market as possible. And of course, love it or hate it, and mostly love it, Jurassic Park did uh, cement in the mindset of a lot of people that dinosaurs are reptilian and scaly and are scary and. They, they tried a little bit with Jurassic Park 3. Not really. Anyway, anyway, let's have a look at these backings. So for ple pledge $5 or more, you get access to the members only Discord, digital art pack and name in credits. Um, so I don't think you get access to the game if you do that. No, you just get those little things. You got the Raptor Early Bird. So there is a timer on this. Uh, so pledge $12. Uh, you will get a digital copy of the game. Uh, super special Kickstarter price, which is only $12. When you think about it, it's not too bad. I mean, if this is going to be one of those games that you come back to over and over again, $12 is, that's a decent price. Of course, you get the digital art pack, naming credits, and members only Discord access. Uh, so what about for a little bit more? Because this will go. I don't know, it doesn't say, it says nine days left on that. It doesn't say how many backers though. So after nine days, then you'll have to go to, I'm assuming, $15. So an extra $3, which means you get everything extra. Um, uh, do, you, do you get the soundtrack? Oh, so this way you, you pay three more dollars and you do get a soundtrack. Interesting. So for 10 more dollars, the Raptor Cooperative Edition, and this is the one that's probably going to sell a lot, is you get two copies of the game. So... What's interesting is that you could back it for the early bird for $12, or you could get two copies and the soundtrack for $1 extra. You, well, you know, if you would buy two separate ones, but if you if you buy two separate ones, it costs $24. For $1 extra, you get the soundtrack and you get a copy to give to your friend. So for $50, the Elite Raptor Beta, play a pre-release version of Death Ground before launch and give us feedback to help make the game even better. So you get a digital copy as well as everything that was listed below, but for, I guess, I guess you, it's for co-op and it's only one. So for $50, you get early access, which I guess isn't too bad. Uh, Raptor Pack, so this is $80. This is quite a lot. Uh, Raptor Pack is private beta access for yourself and then three game codes for you and your friends. And I don't know, it doesn't seem too bad. Like three of the games and early access, just putting it all, oh my God, the, the, the tiers go. How far do they go? Four thousand, eight thousand. Okay, we gotta scroll the. But what is okay? Eight thousand dollars. Oh, probably shouldn't have that. Why eight thousand dollars? What? Okay, what do you get? What do you get for this? Uh, you get fifty digital codes. I. Who's gonna be doing that? <laughs> Who's got fifty uh, early access? Physical T Rex statue. Okay, interesting. They are with dev team. 
Right, a custom in-game T-Rex. Right, so is that just for your game or is that for all those other codes? In-game statue, yeah. Oh, an in-game statue of you. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> now I'm tempted. <laughs> uh, custom in-game raptor, limited edition hoodie, digital game and private alpha access, custom design weapon and tool skin pack. Uh, hopefully that's not going to be like, I don't know, a bit like Primal Carnage went that way of... We're not going to fix the game, we're just going to put skins. <laughs> uh, physical death ground book. Dinosaur plushie. Wall of fame. Oh, okay, okay. $8,000. I can see where, you know, it's going. I don't know. And it's anywhere in the world. So you don't just, because this is London. You don't, you know, don't, you don't have to be based in the UK. You could, if you've got $8,000 to spend and you really like the look of this game, I guess it's up to you. I don't know. <laughs> Can I get another sta- Can I get a statue of me in the game for cheaper? Okay, so there does appear to be uh, four different dinosaurs. You've got the Compsognathus, the Velociraptor, the Allosaurus, and the T-Rex. Ooh, got a lovely picture of the T-Rex there, the Velociraptor as well. No sign of the Allosaur or Compsognathus because, of course, this needs to be funded and I'm assuming for them to uh, be able to make those. And when it comes to Kickstarter and launching, I think people just want to see the big T-Rex and they want to see the Velociraptor. Engineer, that's it. Engineer, Scout, and Hunter. I think Hunter is the only one that has access. So you need the Engineer to hack things. You need the Scout, of course, to motion track things. And the Hunter, unique ability, hunting instincts that let you sense your surroundings and a high caliber rifle. So the only one that is able to shoot at things. Um... Personally, I think maybe they should probably let some of the other classes, maybe even just have a pistol of something, some sort of self-defense. But I do understand as well that um, having Robert Muldoon here, the hunter, means that people are, people are going to want to play as that, but also they're going to want to stick with them. And it would be interesting that the hunter would be left blind without the scout. So the scout does, you know, has this motion tracker without which the hunter would not be able to, would be useless. It would be an interesting idea. Uh, diverse environments. Oh, I like that one with the T-Rex. So a science, that looks like a science lab. You've got a rainforest, a Wayne forest at night, uh, an industrial complex, long-term vision platforms, reward tiers. There you go. So 8,000 gets you pretty much everything. Maybe there is a statue of you with some of the other ones for 4,000. Oh, and there's the plushie. Interesting. The T-Rex statue. Now, I do, I'm wondering whether these are... Uh, like, you know, limited, so it's, they made them, or they just literally just get you something from Alibaba. Because if it is just an Alibaba dinosaur plush and T-Rex uh, statue, then, uh, I don't know. Doesn't say too much there, though. Uh, and initial stretch goals as well. So, solo and co-op for one to three. So, we don't know what the stretch goals are yet, but... Yeah, who knows? Maybe maybe we'll get there. And of course, the uh, developer team there. And games that they've all worked on. So Depth was one uh, that I've definitely covered. RuneScape even? Oh, that's interesting. Well, there you have it. So there you go. That is probably a very long video for, I think, I mean, if you want to find out more information yourself, get informed um, before you decide to back it. Um, I would say, I mean, I'm going to back this because I'm all for seeing more dinosaur games. Um, I don't think I'll do the 8,000 one. That'd be very vain of me to- I want to be in the game! <laughs> be me! That would be so cool, though, to have that. Um, but it shows promise. Um, I mean, going to Kickstarter, showing, you know, what they have at the moment, um, it's, it does seem promising. And with a, a team like that, that people are really interested in making it and working on it, um, I'm looking forward to it. And I can't wait to see uh, how it turns out. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, it is now half six. Uh, I've recorded this. I'm extremely hungry. I'm starving right now. <laughs> so I'm about to go. Well, I need to edit this. Oh, God. So pray for me. Uh, <laughs> until next time. If you enjoyed it, do uh, leave support on them if you want to back them. I think they do have, they might have a Discord and they definitely have a YouTube. So check out the trailer there. Uh, and also, I'm sure they'll be looking through the comments on here as well. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, Leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.